Yo right there guys, what's going on and welcome back to the ultimate RTG and we have finally hit the jackpot. Not only with a play that we've pulled, which brings in coins, but with stuff that we were able to sell last night that just surprised me and I wasn't believing it at first. Someone said, yo Fuge, get rid of your uh, bronze cards, the Liverpool players, the Ajax guys, they're going for 5.5. I was like 5.5, nah. I went and played a couple more games, came back out about an hour later, I thought, someone said 5.5, I like the sound of that. Check the club and I was able to get rid of some dead bronzes for 5,005, 6,000 coins because of the marquee matchups Champions League. So not only has this bronze pack method been uh, allowing us to complete marquee matchups and stuff like that, gaining even more packs and potentially better players, but it's bringing in the coins for all of the duplicates that we were able to sell. And this is why FIFA 20, without a doubt, 100%, I'm gonna be committed at the start, maybe uh, give myself a chance to gather up like 100,000 coins put together a relatively good side for us to compete but then anything else on top of that we're going to be submitting into the bronze pack method grind because this league SBC is so enjoyable when you start seeing the money roll in and someone did say like as soon as you get to a certain point where you move over to the bigger leagues you open up the gold packs it starts snowballing and with the amount of profit that we were able to make well I started the night on 10,000 coins I sold on a few Champions League cards to bring in extra coins to put purchase the ones required for the 100k pack grinds and then I went up to about like 50,000 coins or so maybe 40 odd and we finish the whole night off with 195,000 coins so we have made quite a nice little bit of profit and that allows us to go and open even more bronze packs and it just goes from there but the big player that we were able to pull from the Champions League marquee matchups Barcelona, dear oh dear, what happened with them last night? But it was Rakitic, and it, he was, was selling for like 40 something thousand. But as the uh, marquee matchups were released, a lot of people are flooding these versions on the game, and he went down to I think 36. I sold him for. I'll go and show you some trade pile updates. But that was one of the first walkouts, like Champions League uh, bail that we got. He was untradable, unfortunately. This is the first most expensive tradable uh, Champions League card. I just don't really seem to get that lucky with them. But just in time for team in a season, right? So 88 rated Rakitic was incredible, but it doesn't stop there. I was continuing with the grind late last night, about 1 o'clock in the morning. And I was uh, filling out, uh, I think it was Real Batiste. And we pulled the first ever inform through... Oh, sorry. The first... Most expensive in form. Does that make sense? Just put it this way. He was really expensive. 40,000 coins, 86 rated kind of jury. And then inside of the pack, we had another 10,000 coins silver player. Boy, we've been making big profit, man. And I love it. So with the amount of money that we invested already, uh, we need like a, a 50,000 coin player for us to break even, make a little bit of profit, and that's going to come very, very soon. So those of you that were doubting me, saying, oh, Fuj, I don't think that this is a good idea. Pack it in. You're not going to make your coins back. Well, we are on track, and we are heading in the right direction. Really, really happy. So let's go and do a trade pile update. I've got a lot of stuff to go over, and a new player of the season or player of the month. No, player of the month, Carlos Vea. Please do leave a like and let's get into it. So when I saw that in-form walkout, I got super hyped. Caligiuri 86 rated, and to be fair to him, he's got some pretty well-balanced stats, but just not good enough for what I want right now. So we sold him for 39,250. Rakitic, 36,000. We had to lower uh, the bin and the start price. I would have loved to have got 40, but let's not be greedy. These two players here, Verratti, that came from the League SBC grind, just to let you know, and Gundogan came from like a Champions League, like a previous Champions League um, marquee matchups. So all of that stuff that I used towards unlocking these two came from the bronze pack method anyway. But we sold them for 18,750, both of them. And I used those coins to purchase the necessary players, like the Spurs players. You needed some Champions League cards uh, just to meet those requirements. So De Jong, 6,000, eventually we got rid of him. 8,000 for Robertson. Someone said his usual price is 6,000, but because of this SBC, everything just shot up. Uh, Barcelona player, 6,004. Aurier, 2,005, but it gets better. All of those Liverpool players, 5,000. 
2009. Uh, Daily Blin, just a, a random regular uh, car, 2009. Suzuko, I actually lost coins, I'll be honest. We bought him for, I think it was about 6,000, sold him for 3,006, which is ridiculous. I don't know how he dropped so soon. Uh, Czech went for 1,002. Where are those big players at, though? You're going to be shocked when you see this. Um, I know a Spurs player is going to be coming up very, very soon. There he is, 4,002. But where we made the big profit, like, there you go, 6,000 coins for this random Barcelona player that you don't even need to complete the Barcelona League SBC squad. And then the bronzes, right? Wait for this. 5,005. 5,010, all coming from the League SBC grind. So if I never did this, we wouldn't have seen this kind of profit. And that's why at the start of FIFA 20, this is going to be important to fill out the club. And then when these things come around, the SBCs, we can just cash out unless we've already submitted them. Uh, where are the other ones? 4,000 coins. 5,005. 5,005. Man, it, it looks like I'll be like buying or selling coins. Hopefully EA don't ban my account. 5,005 and 5,005 for some random Champions League uh, packs. Well, to be fair though, I can understand why people want to do it because we pulled Rakitic ourselves. But bronze pack method OP and we still have a few more duplicates uh, to get rid of. I'm just so happy right now that our coin total has now gone up to a healthy well, 195,000. I've got some updates to go over as well. It is just awesome. But where did we finish in the weekend league? Because we were on pretty good form Friday, Saturday. But what happened on Sunday and Monday? Let's find out. So Friday and Saturday played very well. On the Sunday, we couldn't play because EA went down. On the Monday, we still continue to perform. But then I got to a point where I took a late loss and it would have stopped me from finishing on 27 wins. And that was the target, but I didn't really believe I was gonna achieve it. So what I didn't wanna happen is to push into Elite 3 and then look to gain that Elite 2 finish, but then fall short and accept Elite 3 because the team of the week is really, really bad. And this is the problem because Gold 1 offers us the two 100K packs. So what I'm gonna to decide to do is hold on to those 100K packs for 6 p.m. on Friday. So we're not gonna open up our weekly rewards on Thursday just to play a picks. And then from the foot rival grind, I think I'm gonna take untradeable or tradable packs, save those. So we'll probably have like four or five because we're gonna be working towards the weekly objective 100K pack as well. So a little mini pack opening on Friday, team of the season most consistent. Let's see what we get. If we don't get anything, then fair enough, but we may as well wait the extra day just to test our luck. I'm not really good with saving packs, but gold one is a decent rank. We get coins, we get the 100Ks. And then next week, this won't be a thing. Thing of us settling for gold one because to my understanding ea will change the rewards so instead of receiving team of the week packs or team of the week cards we're going to be getting team of the seasons that is going to be fantastic and from now on if that is the case we're going to be just playing every single game out pushing into the elite tiers so that's when we're going to start focusing on getting better hopefully get those awesome finishes but boys let's go and see the uh objectives have a little update with that and go and unlock Carlos Vela. So four out of six on the road to unlocking that free 100k pack. And I'm not going to miss up on the opportunity if something is free or I have to purchase a few players for the Ajax versus Spurs challenge, I'm going to do it. That one was easy. I did it legit through online singles. It was this one. There's a pain in the butt. Three separate rival wins you have to get but got a score with a Dutch player. And that's frustrating because I had Virgil van Dijk. I played him as a striker, the foot birthday card, and it was bloody annoying. If you haven't got Cruyff, Hullet, or big Dutch cards and you're in division one, I think you're gonna struggle with that. So good luck. The last two, I just have to play some squad battle games and I don't know which man of the match to purchase. As it's professional difficulty, I might be able to get away with using like a center back striker or something like that. But that's another 100K pack that we will save for Friday. But enough of that, we need to get our hands on Carlos Vea. And I was preparing to do him last night and then I realized, hang on a minute, from what people were saying, 90 rated, 50,000 to unlock the SBC, that's not true. Maybe it was 50K, but he's gone up to 80. So the cheapest 90 rated card on the market is Courtois for around 46. So if I'm paying 80,000, and I know I get packs back, but they're not really that great, jumbo, uh, premium, and then a premium gold players pack, 
I'm probably overpaying. I know it's a good card though that is playable and you can later on submit him towards something. It's just not worth a while right now. I was going to do him though. And if he was 50k, for sure. And if you've got untradables, maybe. But still, keep in mind that he's got a really, really bad weak foot. Two star, not even three. Two star weak foot. But that's why we want to test him and see what he's offering. And I could have uh, sworn that he was a play of the month last month that's why i got confused like have they just re-released him no they gave him an upgrade so this is the team that i'm going to submit it's very very cheap and the stats the face stats are looking very very nice but how does he play in game 20 game loan is good and like i said at the start of the video i had already used jamie vardy so we've got some loans to bring on in uh, some like creative teams if we want to do that but in games like finishing shot power very nice passing dribbling even the heading accuracy 89 that's quite a big stat that. and 80 jumping with him being 5 foot 10 it's not so bad skills are great so at least i can do the in iniesta one but the two star weak foot is oh man kills the card really i've just realized that carlos vea's card is bent it doesn't even align properly ea are you struggling with that right now it's fine though um as long as he is the 90 rated player in game um and he's playing to these kind of uh, card stats then i'm totally fine with that it's just a visual glitch Anyway, 4 3 2 1. We're going to be switching this into the 4 2 3 1. And I would predict, I know last time I said I will probably have like an SPC completed, and that was like last week, but I didn't realize how far I was away. But now understanding and just having better knowledge with how the League SPC grind works. I am probably going to have a Serie A player unlocked, Bundesliga, La Liga in the next day or so and if that is the case then i will most likely bring them in to just change up the side before team of the season because we know as soon as friday comes around 6 p.m the account is going to be upgraded big time i might even sell virgil van dyke and bring in some team of the seasons uh, by that time i'll have a lot more coins as well to work with so exciting times i'm really looking forward to the promo and it's just content upon content and i don't know where to start so really really excited i hope you guys are as well and with the uh, savage card um evardi you know I, I don't think i'm gonna use them today i've already used vardy though uh three games two goals two assists and like i was saying he is good uh, he's got a nice finish but the problem is he is three star three star but on the ball like when you pass it over to him and want to quickly turn and then play it off he has some nice animation and he can roll the ball really really quick so good card but for 200,000 it's just a little bit too overpriced so here we go someone trying to do the challenge and if he stays in the game I'll give him the result at the end I just want to test out Carlos Vea what does Carlos Vea look like on the ball I bet he's really nice to dribble with though I uh, broke my leg give it to Vea what is it 90 84 power oh look at this long run up I love this style and that's perfect power what about the placement awful do you know what i've just seen though lala is most likely gonna get a team of the week so if he gets a team of the week his headliner card is gonna get boosted go on oh oh nah damn and Brodinho nearly had that his his headliner card is gonna get upgraded so this weekend you know i'm gonna be using him as my right back and i cannot wait to see the kind of stats because that's just gonna make his team of the season even better Colos Vea one touch oh it didn't really come down that's a nice pass with his weaker foot he is left footed right i'm pretty sure he's left footed Ooh, nearly well done david Luiz. yes you say me oh that control did you see how he was changing direction at pace damn no he is sick love him Vea finesse Ooh, he doesn't have really the jumping but he's got the heading accuracy if i can connect with that david Luiz, over your head Vea oh if that dipped over the keeper and went top bins wow what control and take from him to be fair though i shouldn't really be whipping it in with eusebio i should have him as an option in the air they are over your head on the volley nah he put me off hold on hey what the no not the post again oh you can't write this stuff 
Well, you can. It's called scripting. Nil nil at the break, and I'm just trying to force it into a Carlos Fair, test out his dribbling and stuff, and he's pretty tidy on the ball. I'd like a little bit more control, but his pace is fine. His playmaking's okay. I just wonder how much that two-star weak foot is really going to affect him when it comes to playmaking and stuff like that. But I want to test out now the finish. He wants to change something right now. Goal, Hazard. Still can't get away from Daily Blind though. Like, that's insane. What a challenge. Carlos Vea, two-star weak foot. That's poor. Let's see. Let's test out Vea inside the box. Can he jump? No, he is not out jumping. Ronaldinho. Oh, mad. Ronaldinho. I mean, if Carlos Vea isn't going to step up, I know this man will. Still can't get the challenge in. I think he's going to score from this. He is going to score from it. What a save. Wow, Donnarumma. Still very good for me. And he was off Kim. So that was a perfect save. Should have scored from it, but the way he got through there, it, IMO was pretty cheesy with that Eusebio. Oh, look at that pass across. <sighs> Sorry. I was going to give him the win. I should have given him the win, but he's going to quit now. Um, he's really good. Like, he's very, very solid. And I'm noticing in this all over the place, I can't get a casual game. He was sweating it out with this challenge. And fair play to him. If he stays in the game and doesn't quit now, yeah, I'll give him the result. Does he need the win? That's the question. Right, that's the first one. Go, go, go. We're against the clock. Stop celebrating. I'm going to give you the win. Idiot. Full time, and it would have ended, I would have said, 2-0. But we gave him the result, 3-2. And Vea had a few chances with his right foot, his left foot. But it was more to do with the playmaking that I was getting from the card. I think he's going to be a good unlock. Let's go back to the team. So with Carlos Vea, his stamina in that game wasn't too bad. Like, I didn't have to sub him out towards the end of the game. But if you're going into extra time, I would say it is a must. Uh, with his price, like 80,000 with a couple of packs back, let's say you get him for 70k if you sell on everything. That's not terrible for a 90 rated player. And if you're unlocking Carlos Vea, I'd say you're probably an MLS fan. And if you are, do you take the game like seriously in the weekend league and stuff? Or do you just play for fun with your MLS side in Div Rivals? And if that is the case, if you are casual, then you can't go wrong with this Carlos Vea. On the ball, he feels really tidy. His playmaking was very good. And then looking at his stats again, the vision, the short pass, the curb yes i like that and i didn't think his two star weak foot was causing that much of an issue in the attack like build up play his acceleration was good and i took some shots on with that two star weak foot and i don't think it's going to be great uh, on his left he was hitting it well but my opponent was dropping back deep and it was it was difficult to like uh, really get, get through um but playmaking wise and eventually if you're in front of goal this guy is going to be able to score i like him I actually do quite like him. And for his price, well recommended, but not if you're really serious about the weekend league. So thank you very much for watching, boys. Please do leave a like, and I will see you on the next one. Take care. Just Team out. Peace. Yeah.